The second tab in the SEO Design Framework is the Manual Silo Builder. This is one of my favorite features, and let me show you how it works. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I've created a fictitious website using an SDF skin, which took me less than one minute to load, and in about 20 minutes I used the Headline Module, Image Module, uh, the Icon Module, Headline Module, and some animations to create a little, little mock site. So, let's just say it's about photography. So now, let's go and build out a silo that's relative to that. So, going to the Silo tab, which is the second tab, I'm going to look at the Manual Silo Builder, click the Home button, and add my primary silo keyword. In this case, it's Photography. So now I click Add New. Now you'll see that the Photography is now an option. I'm going to select that to say that I'd like to add categories to this silo. I'm going to add my categories, which is Cameras. In this case, I'm just going to keep it simple and build out one silo, one category, and three supporting articles. Click Add New. Now I touch the Cameras category, and I add my supporting articles, which I have here. And that's it. I've just created Photography, a category with Cameras, and then GoPro HD Camera, professional video cameras and handheld digital camcorder all within less than a minute. So in order to see that silo navigation I'm going to need to go over to the widgets area and so let's just say that I'm going to use the SDF silo widget excuse me the SDF silo builder widget I'm going to drop that in the right sidebar and I can determine how many number of links show in this case I'm just going to call this quick nav and I can do this a number of ways. I can use the widget or I can even use short codes to create the silo navigation. So now I'm going to go ahead and save that. So considering that right now the only things that are going to show in the right sidebar is when I'm on the pages that have silo specific content that will show. I'm going to go back to my fictitious page over here. I'm going to edit it. Use the SDF Builder by clicking the SDF Builder button touch the section where I'd like to add the widget and now I'm going to go to my widget areas I'm going to make sure that I've got the right sidebar and click update now that I've updated that I'm going to go ahead and update the post and see how it looks on the front end now what we should see is the silo navigation that I've just created in the bottom right section here so what you'll notice is under my quick nav now I've got photography so by clicking that since that's the silo keyword when I am in the photography silo now, you'll notice that I see cameras and only see cameras. Once I click down into the cameras section, you'll notice that I now have my primary silo, the camera section, and then I also have my supporting articles, which is GoPro, professional video cameras, and handheld digital camcorders. And that's how it works. If you'd like to delete your silos, then what you need to do is proceed back to the SEO design framework section, go to your pages, all posts and pages. Select those to delete. You can move those to the trash. Apply. You're going to need to go to your categories and also get rid of the categories that you added. And since the silo builder does use pages as well for the primary silo phrase, the photography keyword I'd have to get rid of these two pages as well. So I've showed you how easy it is to add a silo or to actually get rid of a silo using the SDF Silo Builder.